What is good everybody? It is H back with another 12 Hub TV video. And uh yeah, I am officially back. YouTube hasn't changed much. Uh ShoeTube sucks. So I'm trying to, you know, not necessarily just keep up. I'm just gonna be here, you know, doing whatever I do. And I want to start back off. I've been in it since February. I got I took a break. You could see the video right here to see where I was at and everything, but I'm all good. And we're going to keep making classics. So, today, we have a interesting piece of artwork here from a brand called Haggle. I think it said Haggle. Their main person's called Haggler, so they just changed it to Haggle. Studio Haggle. So, yeah, this is the box and everything. And it's an interesting shoe, and I'm, I, um, I'm going to keep checking for them. So, let's get into it. So, uh, Studio Haggle is a design house. So I think they've been around since 2016, 17, maybe doing customs and stuff like that. Uh, but they've worked with different people like Echo, uh, Off White, Montclair, different different brands to make customizations. They've torn apart Nike shoes and all types of crazy stuff. You go to their website and check it out. But uh, I got interested in these because one day we were doing the podcast back when we had a podcast, and. Um, I saw a interesting, uh, what do you call it, uh, drop on Nice Kicks. They, they said it was coming in like February, or March, uh, the Haggle Shroud Shoe. And it was orange and it was, it was dope. I looked at it, it was pretty cool. And then I, I, I was like, I got to see it on feet first because I'm not convinced just yet. So I went to their website, you know, I did my Googles and I saw the website and they had this crazy montage. They put some old, I don't know what kind of car it was, like an old BMW or something. And they just put a, a haggle, like parachute over the car. And that was it. And then some guy walks by with the shoe on. But that one person walking by with the shoe on just caught my eye. And I was like, yo, that's dope. And it looked amazing on feet from what I saw. And I was like, I got to get these. Of course, I missed the drop. I didn't even know when it was dropping. It just dropped at some point. So... Months later, you know, I'm following on, uh, I don't even know where, oh, I emailed, email. I set up my email to go get the alerts for their drops, and they ended up sending me an email saying, hey, we're dropping a white version of that orange haggle shroud and limited quantities and whatnot. So I had to go ahead and do my thing and, and pick it up. So uh, when uh, I set an alarm for the date, it was pretty easy cop, nothing I mean, people weren't really checking for it, but it's out there. So that's that. Uh, but getting right into it, man, the box is pretty basic. It's just got some shit on it. I don't know what all this stuff is, but it's there. It's a pretty big box, you know. So going into the box, thin box, nothing crazy. It's got a bag for the shoe. Uh, this is the, the, a la off-white kind of inverted box. Like the outside's very basic. The inside's got all the pictures and shit, which is cool. So this is the shoe. They come in this little little pouch thing, which is a very interesting setup. Uh, inside the box, we got, you know, y'all sneakerheads love the boxes. So haggle, haggle everywhere. And we're kind of like looking at the shoe, trying to, you know, it shows the bag, everything. So it's pretty dope. Um, this is their first design. I wanted the orange one so bad. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to look for them on resale. They're probably cheap resale. So just get into it. The box. I mean the bag. Haggle right there. It's a nice, clean constructed. The um, MMW fours that Nike made came with a bag similar to this very, very nice sturdy bag. Uh, this thing has a cool latch feature, so you can kind of like. I don't know, wrap this around your neck or something. <laughs> Put it as a backpack around your neck if you have a thinner neck. So this is cool. Check this out. Unzip and unfold. I know there's bags like this out there. This is the first one I've ever owned. So going into it, like I said, sturdy construction on that bag. I like it. Oh, yes. And it has like a, a zipper here too. So you can unzip here and pull the shoe out. If you want to keep the bag fully intact without unfolding that. It's pretty easy to fold it back. Oh, actually, oh, you know what this is? Oh, I think this turns into a backpack. Sorry, this is not, this, does, this is not an exit. This is just a pouch here to put stuff. So I think this is another latch here. That's the, uh, I think you could turn that into a backpack with that bad boy. So yeah, pretty cool little feature there. Close that up, get into the shoe. Whew. Now I've already obviously did, came in a huge box. Ah, this puppy, 
is so fire. Here it is. This is the gray version. So you look there. The shroud goes over. It's like a double tongue. Well, it's triple tongue, really. Think about it. the regular tongue's under there, right? It's like a. If you pull this off here, it's like a regular tennis shoe. All leather construction, hard rubber sole. Fairly lightweight for a luxury shoe. Fairly lightweight, uh, which I like. So they use pretty all premium materials, obviously. Uh, very flat foot, streamlined here. Uh, I would I would assume this is wide foot friendly. I'm not going to get into it. it. Looks I had to go European size. This is like a 46, so it might be a little snug on me. I usually try to go 46, seven, maybe around there, depending on the shoe. Uh, European size is always tricky to me, so I won't. Usually a 46 is good if it's true to size. If it fits true to size, uh, and I'm you know I'm going by Yeezy fitting here because sometimes I get my Yeezys in Europe. So yeah, going in there, it's got like a bungee cord set up here for. Um, the lacing system inside so this is similar to the nike air force one experimentals they had this bungee cord thing plus regular lace so you can just tighten it by pulling and then this extra part here tightens up the shroud around your foot so you can see that as it it, it kind of you know it kind of makes this like flowery type of thing on the front there the shoe i thought the shroud thing looked weird at first but it actually doesn't look bad Look at that, it's beautiful. Both shoes are basically the same. Inside, you got your regular old insole, but I like this, they actually, actually, let me see if I can pull out the insole. I know these, yeah, this is pretty simple to pull out. Leather insole, very premium, very premium. Sewn on tag here, so you can do that. And it's got a little, little, little smiley face there. Pretty generic foam probably some EVA, whatever they call a foam. And yeah, the shoe is just whew, so ultra luxe. Like when you buy luxury shoes, you're not buying it. Like the aesthetics are always pretty basic in most cases. I mean, you try to do a little, like they always do a twist on like an Air Force One or this, that, and that. This one here is just, this is a sick shoe. It's, it's not really white. It's more like a stealthy gray. Uh, I think they call these like, the white, I don't know what color, but this is like white. Then it has um, the branding here. You can see that. It says Hagel Cleat Shroud. So, got a cleat type of bottom here, which is super cool. Just Hagel all over the place. And yeah, um, I get off-white vibes, I get Nike vibes, I get Louis Vuitton vibes, Balenciaga vibes. I get the vibes on this one, man. And then it goes straight up into their little, little logo patch there. Dope. Just a, just a subtle. I'm just noticing all these little hits as I go through the shoe. Looks pretty easy to slide on. I'm going to go straight on foot with this and tell you how it feels. I don't know when I'm going to rock this. This is one of those shoes where it's like... I feel it's so special, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm early. I'm an early adopter. That um, you know, when they produce more shoes, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna cop. But you know, it lo lo looks like they have great heel support here. Simple branding and tagging. This is this is a, this is a, not a shoe for everybody. It costs a lot. Uh, let me tell y'all. These bad boys. I bought them on June 25th. Uh, when I dropped, I guess, and they ended up costing me 372 euros uh, with 20 dollar, 20 euro shipping, which approximately adds up to be roughly 414 dollars all in. This is not bad for a luxe shoe like this. So you know, keep your keep your eyes open. <laughs> for these joints when you see them out there in the streets but um yeah let me go straight to on foot i really don't have much to say check out haggle they're a dope design house for the most part and um i'm looking you know forward to seeing more of their products and stuff like that but yo like subscribe hit me with uh any shoe you want to see i got a lot of shoes i consistently keep buying now i've been on some like markets down i gotta go and i'll do a invest video too because why not everybody's doing sneaker invest videos let's do it
Hit me, Instagram, everything down below. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, so the on foot, beautiful shoe. Uh, I, I definitely personally could have won a size higher because um, it, it was a little tough to get on. But once I loosened the bungee cord inside in the first shoe or first tongue, it was pretty good. Otherwise, yeah, definitely a size higher for me personally. Any other person without a wider foot, definitely true to size. I they were comfortable either way. I did have a little bit of wiggle room in the toe box. I just feel that they weren't wide enough. As you can see, I'm getting that that um, side uh, shoe, medial side, I guess they call that shoe spread there. And, you know, the, the materials are comfortable. The shoe, again, kind of surprisingly lightweight for a luxe shoe, but really felt good on feet. I think uh, you wouldn't have any problem with these going out easy to get along with uh i really like the shoe and yeah tell me what you think hit the subscribe hit the like button and get at me this has been h another 12 hub tv video peace